We begin at 5 o'clock with new developments surrounding a video of a controversial arrest in La Jolla. That video shows officers hitting a homeless man. And today, that man was joined by local civil rights activists who say officers used unnecessary force. Our Jeff McAdam is on top of this story. Starts us off live from San Diego Police Headquarters. Jeff? Hi, Maria. Yeah, police tell us that both of those officers are still on duty here today. They said that they have launched uh, an internal affairs investigation into this as well. But local civil rights activists say this is all not enough. For starters, we need to release that body camera footage and fast. I'm here to say what I saw was concerning, and I want the whole background story. Release the body worn camera footage, the dispatch, and the radio calls immediately so we can have the whole story in context. Civil rights leader Shane Harris stood with supporters Friday outside the very intersection where Jesse Evans, a man without a home, was approached by police last Wednesday. First of all, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I completely forgive those officers, okay? And anybody in my life has ever done me wrong, okay? I hope that I'm the last victim of such activity. Speaking okay? for the first time publicly Friday, Jesse admits he was looking for a place to go to the bathroom. And police confirmed they questioned him about urinating in public. Officers say they tried to detain him and yelled, stop resisting, but that Jesse did not comply. If there were not cops, if that was anyone else doing that to him, that was 100% assault. I would have gone out of my vehicle. I would have been screaming at the top of my lungs and doing what I could to help. <gasps> stop! Nicole Bonzel said she felt something was wrong from the very beginning. She was the one who shot the video from her cell phone. I see him around all the time. I live in this neighborhood. I live two minutes from where this incident happened. And he never harms anyone. And he just kind of keeps to himself. He talks to himself. And so when I saw the way in which we were approaching that situation and the fact that he's just like an unhoused man, I, I that's when I started recording. What I didn't understand was what was the what was the urgency that caused the police to have to put hands on him. Retired officer Cameron Gary has worked in law enforcement for 30 years, a use of force instructor for 15 of those years in the district attorney's office. He agrees with civil rights leader Shane Harris. It's important to know the background leading up to the call. He says when somebody's resisting arrest, it's a common police practice to hit one of about 14 or 15 pressure points on their body. It's a distractionary blow. Now, we're not trying to throw knockout blows. You're not trying to necessarily um, punish the person, but you're trying to do a diversionary strike, if you will, to get their attention to elsewhere. Then you can pull the hand behind the back. But what I have to hit him in the face to put his hand behind the back, you know, I, I, I haven't had to do that. Or maybe this officer can justify that. Um, it would not seem to be a common practice. Yeah, and activist Shane Harris is calling on an outside entity to come in now and investigate SDPD, their use of force history. He wants to go over all the times that it was ruled necessary versus unjustified. He wants to know what officers are the good ones versus the bad ones here in the department. He also points out if we have more public bathrooms, this at least would not have been an issue in the first place. From SDPD headquarters, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. All right, Jeff, and we just received reaction from San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria regarding this incident. Our Phil Blower is at the news feed with what the mayor is now saying. Phil. And, yeah, Marie, he just tweeted this out a short time ago. Let's take a look at it. This is his official statement on the police incident on Torrey Pines Road, and he says use of force should always be a last resort, and whenever it's used, it must be thoroughly reviewed to ensure officers are held accountable for following policy and their training. He goes on to say, I've spoken personally with the police chief, that's David Nislight, and there will be a thorough review of this incident. Maria? All right, Phil, thank you for that update.